We're going to start in a seated position with a little bit of pranayama to settle into the body and settle into the breath. So find yourself a comfortable position to sit and maybe sitting on a block or on your pillow just so you can elevate your hips higher than your knees. This helps a little bit with the alignment of the spine and also helps to release tension from the legs and from the back. Closing the eyes. Just taking a few deep breaths where you are. Settling into the body, arriving into the space. Grounding your sitting bones on the floor, pressing them down equally. From the base of your spine, imagine like you have a golden thread and this thread is being pulled up through your spine all the way through the crown of the head and up to the sky. Opening some spaces between the vertebra. Allow your chin to slightly drop down and back, keeping a long back of your neck. Relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears and relaxing the arms. Shift your awareness to your legs, relaxing the groins, relaxing the knees, and feeling the contact of your feet with the floor. Bring your hands together in front of your heart into Anjali Mudra. We open the practice in chanting Pranava Om. One time. Exhale to coordinate the breath. Big breath in through the nose for Om. Bow your chin to your chest. In a gesture of gratitude towards yourself and the practice. Slowly releasing the hands back to rest on your thighs or on top of your knees. Maybe palms facing up or facing down. Establish this connection to the ground through the contact of your legs with the floor. You can maybe visualize roots coming out of your feet and going down all the way to the center of the earth. Connecting and establishing strong foundation. And at the same time, you feel your roots going down. Visualize your golden thread pulling your spine all the way up. Energetically pulling the crown of the head up to the sky. Feeling both actions at the same time.
Start to bring your awareness to your breath without trying to change anything, just observing. And trying to keep the body as soft and relaxed as possible. We're looking for softness throughout the whole practice. I invite you to engage in this investigation of what's happening in every single moment of your practice today. What's happening in your body, what's happening with your breath, what's going on in the mind. curiosity about what is there to be unfolded in the present moment. Taking a big breath in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. I'm making some sounds and letting go of any tensions that you might have building up. Two more times, big breath in. Breathe out and release. Last time, breathing in. And out. And slowly back to Purnata, passive observation of the breath. Completely present. Bringing the tip of your thumb and index finger on the left hand to touch. Coming into Gyan Mudra with the left hand. And bringing the right hand in front of you, palm of the hand facing you. Placing Vishnu Mudra on your right hand. So two options, either first two fingers touching the space between the eyebrow, or you can bend those two fingers to the center of your hand. Most important thing is that you have your right thumb touching the right nostril and the ring finger touching the left nostril. We're preparing for a few rounds of Chandra Bedana Pranayama. It basically consists in inhalations through the left and exhalations through the right, always. So. Placing both mudras on the hands, try to soften the touch of the tip of your fingers. Relaxing the shoulders down, lengthening the spine, taking a big breath in through both nostrils, breathing out through both nostrils. Closing the right, inhaling through the left, for four, three, two, one. Open the right, close the left, and exhale through the right. For six, five, four, three, two, one. This is one round. We keep on flowing. Inhale through the left. Four. Out through the right for six. Inhale left. Om Namo Narayana. Exhale right. Om Namo Narayana. 
Om Namo Narayana in through the left. Om Namo Narayana breathing out through the right. Om Namo Narayana Om Namo Narayana Keep on flowing for three more rounds in your own rhythm counting to four on the inhalations to eight on the exhalations. You can use the mantra for the counting or you can adjust shorter or longer exhalations. Remember to soften the body, complete focus to the breath. And slowly, once you finish your third round, exhaling through the right nostril, bring your right hand back to your thighs. Tip of the finger touching the tip of the thumb on the right hand. Just take a few moments here to observe. Concentrating your breath in your abdominal area. Observing the rise and the fall of the belly with each inhalation and exhalation. Observing the sensations on the edges of your nostril. Feeling the cool of the air as you breathe in. Maybe noticing the warmth of the air when you breathe out. Observing the length of the breath. As we ground the body. Remember the earth. Your connection to the earth. And remember the sky. In your connection to the Supreme. Slowly releasing the mantra from the hands and bring your hands in front of you, making some friction, scrubbing the hands together. You can do it a little bit faster, just feeling the heat being created in the palm of the hands. Slowly placing the hands in front of your eyes, but without touching the skin. As close as you need to be able to feel the heat flowing from your hands to your eyes. Starting to blink the eyes open, letting the light come in and slowly releasing the hands to the front. 